The next one I'm going to demonstrate is the perpendicular. I'm going to delete this object and place a new one to work with. If I right click and edit this, I'm going to change the angle of this by 5 degrees. Now if I want this front line to always be perpendicular with this line, I can set that with the logical constraint. I click the left line first, that's the one I want to always be perpendicular to, and then I will click the second one. And as you can see, it pulled this second line into a 90 degree angle to this first one. But you'll also notice something that happened at the back. It pulled it away from the wall because all of these objects at this point are constrained together. So in order to accommodate this length, it had to pull it away. If I want to stop that, I simply put assign a fixed point to it. So let's not save this shape. And let's re-edit. And before we make the perpendicular, we will go and fix the back and save this. Now we can assign the perpendicular. Left one first, and the second one. And as you can see, the back line now remains fixed, and the others adjust accordingly. The next one I'm going to demonstrate is going to be the tangent. For this, I'm simply going to place a line. and then add an arc. If I always need the arc to be tangent to the line, I simply click on tangent, select the line first, and then pull it over to the arc. I can then close off this shape. and save it. The next one I'm going to demonstrate is going to be the equal radius. Let's move down to this object. I'm going to edit shape and using our fillet tool over on the left I'm going to put a radius amount of 10 and select that line and then that line to get a radius. I'm now going to change this to 5. Select two different lines so I have a different radius on each end. And let me save this shape. Now I've just discovered that I need the radius to be the same. So I'm going to assign an equal radius. I'm going to select this one first. That's the one I want to duplicate. And then select this one second. And as you can see, the two radius are now equal. And as you also notice, because we did not have a fix on this line, it moved the cabinet in to accommodate for that. Of course, to solve that, we would have had to first place a fix on this line before we put the radius on there. And the last one to demonstrate is the equal length. I'm going to select this line and remove the parallel constraint that we had put on there earlier. Now if I select this line, I can move it back to minus 90 degrees. Save this shape. But I have now noticed that I need the two top and bottom line to be of equal length. So I go to logical and equal length. Select the bottom one then select the top one. And as you can see, they are now both the same length. This completes the movies for the logical constraints. They will take a little work uh, and some practice getting used to. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, 
please visit www.cabinetvision.com. Thank you for watching.